Louis Sullivan is a man of passion and ingenious. He was an American architect and has been called the father of skyscrapers and father of modernism and, and identified with the aesthetics of early skyscraper design. He was influential architect of the Chicago School, a mentor to Frank Lloyd Wright, and an inspiration to the Chicago group of architects who have come to be known as the Priory School. Sullivan was born to a Swiss-born mother. His family migrated to Boston from Geneva. They migrated to the United States in the late 1840s. He entered MIT at the age of 16. Sullivan studied architecture there briefly. After one year of study, he moved to Philadelphia and took a job with architect Frank Furness. Sullivan studied at the École des Box Arts in Paris before joining Furness and Sullivan in Chicago in 1872. The architect is credited with Iraq erecting the first steel frame building, but his career was cut short by the Great Chicago Fire of 1871. In 1879, Dagmar Adler hired Sullivan. A year later, Sullivan became a partner in Adler's firm. This marked the beginning of Sullivan's most productive years. Adler's and Sullivan initially achieved fame as theater's architect, while most of their theaters were in Chicago. Their fame won commissions as far as West Pueblo, Colorado, and Seattle, Washington. In 1890, Sullivan was one of 10 architects, 5 from the East and 5 from the West. They were selected to build the main building for the White City, the World's Fair in Columbia. His more than 100 works in collaboration with Dankmar Adler include the Auditorium Building in Chicago, the Guarantee Building in Buffalo, New York, Prudential and the Wainwright Building in St. Louis, Missouri. Frank Lloyd Wright apprenticed for 6 years with Sullivan at the firm. In independent practice from 1895, Sullivan designed the Schlesinger and Mayer department store and now called the Sullivan Center in Chicago. His autobiography of an idea was published shortly before he died. The early years of Adler and Sullivan practice did not result in buildings of lasting interest. However, it was the commission in 1886 to design the auditorium building in Chicago that marked the first period of Sullivan design maturity. This project was a curious combination of a hotel and office block wrap in a U-shaped round a 3982-seat auditorium for opera. The 10-story Wainwright building in St. Louis is the most important skyscraper design by Sullivan. Unlike the auditorium building, the exterior walls of which are solid masonry and load bearing, it is of steel frame throughout an idea advanced by William Le Barbaron Jenny in 1883-85 in Chicago. Sullivan was a spokesman for the reform of architecture and opponent of historical eclecticism and did much to remake the image of the architect as a creative personality. His own designs are characterized by richness of ornament. His importance lies in his writings as well as in his architectural achievements. These writings which are subjective and metamorphical suggest directions for architect Rather than explicit doctrines or programs, Sullivan himself warned of the danger of mechanical theories of art. The skyscraper was central to both Sullivan's writing and his practice, and it is on this subject that his thought is most concise. Out of such inquiries into the nature of style came Sullivan's own famous dictum, Forms follows function, a praise that should not lead one to conclude that Sullivan's belief that a design should be a mechanistic visual statement of utility. Sullivan was just a revolutionary in his ornament as he was in his use plain surface and cubic forms. His ornament was not based on historical precedent but rather upon geometry and the stylized forms of nature. <laughs>